This week, I've shortened my time frame since I want to get my photo in before we leave on an aeroplane on Friday morning. It's week 11 and this week I have to photograph the or a road. This week's topic feels like it was made for Dubai with all of its complicated intersections. And that was my initial idea, was to photograph the complicated and well-known intersection at downtown Dubai, from above of course, because that's the best way to see it. The problem is that if you don't know somebody that stays in either an apartment or hotel with that view, you have to throw money at the problem by visiting an observation desk, uh, renting out your own hotel room, or even just visiting a restaurant, which all have minimum spent for this occasion. Since I didn't want to spend too much money just before a trip, and we weren't really in the mood to make an outing out of it, I decided to pivot and shoot in an opposite, still appropriate direction, at a place called Half Desert Dubai. It's a block of roads that were built with roundabouts, but no buildings, it's just there, and the desert has started taking over some of the roads. It's quite a popular spot for photography, especially for Instagrammers, sports car, and my favorite actually is the drone, where you can see the roads with the sand crossing the roads from above. But with the new drone regulations, I'm not sure how legal that is anymore. And then there's obviously the small detail of me not owning a drone at all. Thus, we had to go there one early morning before work and see what I can get off the ground. Okay, so I'm not using a tripod just yet. I'm just freelancing with my camera, finding different compositions. And once I settle on something I really love, then I'll go get my tripod and take a photo like that. The sun is coming from the side now, so I'm going to try to set up my tripod. But since, I, since I'm going to take a wider shot, I would like to try and focus brackets. I'll probably take about three photos at F16 and put them together in post. So I've tried a landscape composition as well, but there's just too much distraction. Um, some power lines there, our car, which isn't a sore eye luckily, but just too many distractions. So I'm sticking to my portrait uh, composition and I'm just moving a bit to the left, a bit to the right, and I'll also go down low and see what perspective I can get from there on. Okay, so this is my composition. One of my issues I've got, but I'll probably try to see in post if I can fix that, is shadows, obviously. But what I'll do is I'll bracket it right about here, here, and then on the background. But like I said, I'll probably shoot at around F16 to try and get as much as possible in focus. Okay, this is quite cool with the uh, sign on the road making a nice leading line into the sandy landscape. So, 
With a clear blue skies, that doesn't always make the most interesting photo. So what I'm doing is I'm pointing my camera down so that I can I minimize the sky in the shot and focus on the road, which is the theme for this week's photo. I told you it went in I saw. I started the post production with a few basic edits, which I copied to the other two photos I'll be using in my focus tag. I then sent all three photos as layers into Photoshop, where I had to auto-align them. Although the photo is taken on a tripod, there's still a little bit of movement in your composition when you shift your focus point. Once that is done, the focus tacking is fairly simple. I just couldn't handle all the power lines in the background and had to clean them up. I hate to admit how much time I spent cleaning up the photo. But once done, I've sent it back to Lightroom, where I did a few last bits and bobs of local adjustments before I was happy with my photo. I'm a lot happier with this week's photos than I am with last week's and I would definitely go back in other conditions and discard a little bit more and drive even deeper into the desert to see what we come up with. I would also at this point like to make a side note to Tarsus and thank him for the behind the scene footage he took for me. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen in the next few weeks. It's a bit of a mystery and upload might be a bit tricky. I know next week's challenge is chaos and I'm looking forward to photographing and sharing that experience with you. We've been planning a trip to Botswana and Namibia for quite a while and I can't believe the trip that's been in the making for so long has finally arrived. You might just have to wait for the videos a little bit longer but hopefully it will be worth it since it will be places we've never been before. Although we've been to the bush quite a few times, but we've never been to Botswana and Namibia, well, that part of Namibia, before. And I would love to share what I'm able to capture in theme at the locations. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then.